Designing your own graphics can be challenging, especially if you aren't a trained graphic designer. It might look easy from the outset, but soon enough you'll be spending hours in front of your computer wondering why you just can't get it right. Now, unless you actually want to become a graphic designer, you probably don't want to learn everything there is about graphic design. And the cost of outsourcing might just be out of reach right now. So learning the basics of design and keeping informed about design can really help you be able to just create those designs that you need to make for your business. <laughs> basics of design and keeping practicing and practicing will soon see you creating better and better design. It'll soon become a valuable skill when whenever you need to put something out there you'll be able to quickly create a design with confidence. You aren't going to have to wait on someone or wait till you've got the budget for it. You'll be able to just create things as soon as you need them whenever you so need them. So if working them. on your design skills is something you really want to work on then here are seven ways you can help improve your design skills. I'm Tabitha Emmett and I'm a brand design educator and in today's video I'm going to show you seven ways you can simply improve your design skills. First of all, follow designers and design educators. Simply finding someone on Instagram and Pinterest and YouTube, start following them, start consuming their content every now and then, and just listening in to little tips and you know, looking at their work, getting inspired, seeing the things they're saying, you know, looking at different tools they're suggesting or different common mistakes that they're saying that they're seeing. Those little things can help you improve your design. People a that lot. you surround yourself with really make a difference in how you're improving yourself. So when you're surrounding yourself with other designers and other design educators, it's going to help build up those design skills. It's kind of like having little design snacks. Here and there, you're picking up little tips and little things that you can do to improve your designs. And over time, that's going to help improve it more and more. And even just seeing their work, seeing other people, how they design, things that they're doing, it's going to be in the back of your mind so that when you go to create your own designs, you've really got your mind full of good ideas of what good design looks like. Number two is reading design books. There are so many great books out there about graphic design and I'll link some below in the description if you want to check some of those out if you want some recommendations. Reading books on design can be really helpful because they'll go into more detail about some nitty gritty stuff and some simple things that maybe you're too scared to ask about. Also I'm the kind of person that loves to understand why something works especially with things like maths. I always found that just knowing the formula wasn't good enough. I needed to know why does that formula work and then once I knew that I found it so much easier to work out equations and so it's similar with design when you're reading a design book it can help you understand better why design works a certain way why certain things are done and when you understand the why behind it it's going to be so much easier to then actually implement it and use it because you're like oh I get why that happens I get why you know people are using those sort of fonts or doing that in a certain way or laying things out in this way and when you get the why behind it, suddenly it all clicks and it's a lot easier to design better graphics and not just be like, well, something like that looks pretty, but rather you're like, no, I get why we have to do it this way and why that actually makes the design look better. Another way to up level your skills is taking design courses. The great thing I love about courses is that they're one up to date, so you're going to see things that are using the software right now and what's going on in the design software world so you can really apply it more easily. And also because it's video, you're seeing things visually. And so if you're a visual learner and just reading things in a book with a few little graphics isn't helping you enough, being able to see in videos how somebody's actually going about doing something, watching their process, watching how they do it and getting that more up-to-date knowledge and getting some help from someone that can you know answer your questions and give you some feedback. It can be so valuable so design courses are really helpful and I do have a few so again check the description box below if you want to check any of those out. Another great tip is practicing designing with personal projects. So if you only ever design when it comes to things you actually need then it's going to limit how often you're actually going out there and designing. If you come up with some personal projects you can work on, it's an opportunity for you to experiment, make mistakes, have a bit of fun, do something that's completely different and out there and hone in those design skills, get better and better at it. Because if that pressure's on when you have to create something that you know is actually going to be put out there, it's going to be representing your business, then it's a lot more stressful because you're trying to get it right. When you have a personal project, then you can experiment more, you can make mistakes and you can try out new and different things and you can really improve your design skills Number that way. five is keeping an eye on design trends. Now, I don't recommend that you base your whole brand off the current design trend because then in a few months time, that's gonna change and you firmly feel like you're gonna to have to change your brand, otherwise it looks dated. But understanding broader design trends, things that are going on for years, 
things and also knowing little now up to the minute trends that are going to be helpful for promotional graphics things that are just right now quick and then over and done with knowing those design trends can be really helpful because you can see how other people are applying those trends you can give them a go and you know that they're going to be something that people are going to be excited about because it's new and it's right now it also helps you get in a bit more of a designer mindset thinking what's hot right now what are the design trends what's really happening which means that you're constantly having to look at different designs and think well what is the you know common threads I'm seeing here what am I noticing is occurring again and again that's obviously a trend that's happening right now and so when you're trying to look out for trends it's actually helping you notice design more being more design aware and therefore helping you design better which leads to another way that you can hone your design skills and that's by copying now I'm not saying that you should see a design copy it and then put it out there for your business what I'm saying is you can improve your design skills by copying and then keeping it to yourself just by figuring out how somebody did something so you see a design maybe it's something that's really on trend now and you think that's really cool I wonder how they did that try to recreate it work it out experiment do some learning find out how they did that recreate the same thing don't put it out there, don't show it because obviously you've copied it and you know it's their copyright, but it's a way to learn. In the art world, this is often how people experiment and find their own style, by first copying. So you find the masters, you find the really great designers, the people who do an amazing job, and you try and copy something that they've done, figure out how they did it, and that's gonna help improve your own skills so then when you go to create your own original work, your design skills have improved a lot. And finally, use design templates. So similar to the copying, by having something that's already structured and started for you, you can just tweak it and improve it and make it your own. And because it's been started for you, you can start to think, well, how did they get to that point? How did they do that? And it can make you feel a little bit more confident when you're feeling a bit uncertain when you're first starting out. So starting with a template is something to just get you started, then improve upon it. And then as your design skills improve, you'll rely less on less on those templates because you'll start to notice certain patterns, certain things they do to make a good design. You think, well, I could do that myself. But if you just start out with those templates, it can really help you improve your design skills. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments which of these you think you'll start doing to improve your design skills. And if you want to learn more about graphic design, branding and creativity, then be sure to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time.